everybody. Um, I am Lynn and I'm so happy that you're here. And today's project is going to be playing with pieces and parts from nature and we're going to make some faces. So this is how we're going to begin. First, I think that you went outside. I hope that you went outside. You can gather things like rocks and sticks and leaves and just pieces and parts that look fun to you. And then we're going to bring them back. Or we can stay outside. Actually, if you can stay outside, that'd be even better. And what else you'll need is some acrylic paint. So I have just a variety of acrylic paint, uh, a small paintbrush, and your imagination. Maybe a piece of string or two if you have it. But here's what we're going to do. Oops. I forgot to tell you, you might even use a found photograph. If you have something that you have an old magazine or something like that, you can tear out a photograph. That wouldn't be a bad idea either. That's just something to think about. Okay, so here's how we begin. So the first thing is we're going to sort of lay out all of our pieces and parts. So I have a nice assortment of sticks and rocks and almost automatically you'll start to combine these things in a way that you could see maybe two eyes, a mouth, some, a nose. So I know this is such a fun game. Like would this be a good mouth? Let's see. Would this be a good eye? Maybe this is a good nose. Ah! That already makes me laugh. This is a great mouth. See how this guy is already... Oh, oh what if he's having a frowny face day? Well, you can do that too. So pretty quickly, I hope that you'll come up with some great pieces for eyes and a great piece for nose. And what makes this even more fun is if we add a little acrylic paint. So I just used plain acrylic colors, just about five different colors. I'll take my little brush. You could use tempera paint, whatever you have on hand. You could use old house paint. Anything you have is fine for this. Now, wouldn't it be funny... <laughs> if we added some teeth to this fella. Huh. <laughs> and it just has to be a light color against your dark color so you can see the teeth. This is a pink. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> can you see the smile? Oh, that makes me laugh. There's that, and then I think it would be really fun just to add some eyes. So I have these great shaped rocks, but what if we gave them a blue eye? Let's see what happens. Ooh, yeah. So I'm just making sort of an almond-shaped eye. Huh, maybe I'll make a, a little eye over here. And you can already see <laughs> that looks like a face. Maybe he needs a, a pupil so we can see the dark. Maybe he has a dark eye right here. And already we have kind of a fun, look at that. That's just so funny. Wait, maybe we want to do a little something on his nose. Let's just see. Sometimes you have two little holes right here where you breathe. Okay, right off the bat. We've made a face. I think the fun part of this is there's a million different combinations that you can use. So here's what I'll do next. I'll grab my camera and I'm going to take a few pictures of this because it's really fun, especially if you're out in nature. And we'll keep a few pictures of all of our different faces and maybe you share them with us or with others because these are going to go right back to nature. And then we can keep rearranging and take more pictures. I have some more rocks here that I thought would be fun to play with. I found these wonderful little pine cones and I just made a face shape and then little rocks. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with because there's so many different little pieces and parts to play with out in the world. See already that makes me laugh. <laughs> now if you wanted to you could add a little paint to the smile in the eyes. You don't have to, but if you're feeling it, give it a shot. Just little eyes. Boop. Sometimes I like one bigger than the other. Just a little more interesting. And let's try, let's try some teeth. Boop. Real simple. <laughs> and let's look through our camera and see if we think this is funny. 
Okay, that looks like a face, yeah? Sometimes it's fun to move the eyes apart. You can scooch down the smile. You can have more teeth closer. That's kind of pretty. Maybe the eyes are really close. <laughs> Maybe they're far apart. Maybe they're looking at each other. <laughs> I think that looks great. Okay, get my camera out. Let's take a picture. Yes. <laughs> and let's do it again. So I think you get the idea. You just keep playing with nature. We'll find funny faces using leaves and rocks and all kinds of little pieces. This cracks me up. Let's just see really fast what we can make with these. All of a sudden that looked like a big mouth to me. So let's see what happens. So maybe he's got big mouth. <laughs> and you know what else is really fun? Is you can leave these out in nature. You can leave a little gift for people. If you make a funny smiley face, wouldn't it be nice if somebody was walking along the path and they ran into your little rock that you made or your little happy face that you made? I think people might really enjoy that. So this reminds me of one of my favorite artists. His name is Andy Goldsworthy. And if you get a chance, you might want to look him up. He does exactly that. He takes, takes pieces and parts from nature and rearranges them. This is one of his images, but these are just beautiful leaves that he found in nature. He arranges them in a glorious way, and he leaves them in nature to just sort of disintegrate at their own rate. So if you happen to be lucky enough to walk past one of his creations, you'll be just stunned with this beauty that he's, he's sort of rearranged things so that you can enjoy them in a different, fresh way. He's a great artist to look to, to inspiration for playing with nature. Andy Goldsworthy. I hope you get to check him out. All right, should we add some teeth? Let's see. But I think you get the idea. We're really just having fun. We get inspired by the different shapes. <laughs> you never know what you're going to end up with, really. I can't wait to see what you all make. <laughs> Am I ready for a picture? I mean, I could even add, you know, ears or I just like this really close together. Maybe he's got little top knot ears. Maybe he's got little tiny rocks that go around the side. You're going to have fun with this. You can do anything that makes you laugh. I think I like it just plain. All right, let's take a picture. Ah! <laughs> See, that makes me laugh. Okay, I think you get the idea. So your assignment is to make some faces in nature, add a little paint, and take a picture and share it with us. And I have a few other ideas that we can do with faces as well. So here's a fun idea. And this was just a leaf that I found. And it's so simple, you just add a little bit of paint to it and make a face. So here's one that, another leaf that I found. And I think it's nice to tie the string on because you might want to leave it, tie it back and up into the tree and leave it for people to find. So this is the same idea. We'll just give them a couple eyes. <laughs> and maybe a big smile just because. Smile, ooh, yeah. And if you feel like giving them a nose or eyelashes or whatever feels good to you, I think a little nose might be nice. Whee! Let's do eyelashes. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun to be walking along a path and find a cute little smiley face leaf just floating in the wind? <laughs> And all you would do next for this is get a piece of string and tie it on the end of your, of your leaf and you just hang it from a tree. You could hang two. We could have two hanging across a tree. That'd be fun. <laughs> and one more thing that's really fun that I want to share with you. Sometimes if you find an old photograph in a magazine or anywhere that you have it, it's really cool to add on to the photograph. So we could give her some leaves or sort of... <laughs> strange ears, right? That's funny. 
We could take some of our little rocks. We might change her eyes. Oh, that's strange, right? We could do another rock and paint it as her mouth. Maybe we add a different mouth to her. And sometimes you'll find a rock that's like the perfect shape. You know, it just looks like it could be a mouth. Maybe this one's more like a mouth. Ha! Huh. Let's just give her a big smile. That's kind of funny. Oh, you know what would be funnier? Let's give her a red nose, like a clown. What about that? So maybe, maybe she has a red nose. Let's try it. Whee! <laughs> That's kind of silly, right? And we might put her mouth lower. Anyway, you guys get to play and have fun and see what comes up for you. Maybe she's got a stick. Maybe she's got sticks out of her ears. You just never know what's going to be funny. And then what do we do next? Grab her. <laughs> Grab our camera. <laughs> Take a shot. Keep rearranging and make some more. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have fun out there and please share. We'd love to see what you did.